Today's video, we have a look at a sweet new collectible from the folks over at Cryptozoic Entertainment. This is the Harley Quinn Puddin' Pop life-size statue. Harley loves her puddin, playing off her nickname for the Joker, the second in Cryptozoic series of highly detailed life-size hand statues following the Joker's calling card features Harley's glove hand holding a lollipop with her smiling sweetheart's face on it. With an overall height of approximately 9 inches, this beautifully hand-painted polyresin statue will make your mouth water. It was sculpted by Manus Studios. I suppose the first thing we should do is figure out how tall this is. Now, the packaging does tout it at being approximately nine inches in height. However, however, if you look at the Ultra Measuretron, let me just pause that for a second or hit hold. There we go. From the bottom to the top of the lollipop, it actually stands closer to being exactly 10 inches in height, which switching that to centimeters, if centimeters is your thing, Centimeters, the statue is 25.5 centimeters in height. To come included with the hand statue, you get yourself a Harley Quinn Pudding Pop Certificate of Authenticity. This certifies that this Harley Quinn Pudding Pop statue is an official limited edition statue produced by Cryptozoic Entertainment. It is actually released in only a limited quantity of 2,000. This one just so happens to be an artist proof, but it would be a numbered sequence out of the 2,000 featured here on the Certificate of Authenticity. Assembly for the statue couldn't be any bit more simpler, but before we do that, and before I put the pudding into her into her mitts here, let's have a look at the glorious piece here. Now I'm gonna flip it upside down, and that's one of the reasons why I kept the lollipop off for the time being. On the underside, we've got Harley Quinn Pudding Pop. Once again, artist proof out of 2,000, Harley Quinn Pudding Pop down below, and then Cryptozoic Entertainment below that. If you flip it up, there's a hole right there, which if you take then the lollipop, which why don't we look at that first, well, next, and then we'll go ahead and put that inside her hand. The pudding pop, as you can see, is a translucent uh, green plastic. While this is polyresin, I think the, the actual lollipop is plastic. You can see it has sort of a cartoonier version of the Joker's face featured on the front and featured on the back. Um, the actual handle feels almost like the equivalent of a straw, although the straw isn't hollow, it's, it's solid plastic. Then we can go ahead and we put it in between her pointer finger and her thumb, right where the hole is. Now, you may automatically want to put it down, put it straight down, and actually, instead, when you put it into her hand, you can put it on an angle, just kind of go with the angle, the direction of the hole, and you've got yourself the finished pudding pop. Now, how does Harley's hand stack up, say, versus the Joker's calling card that we've already had a look at on this channel? There's a difference between the two. Obviously, the hands are proportionally different. Joker's hand being a male hand is much broader, much bigger, a much larger hand versus the finer refinements 
of Harley Quinn's more delicate fingers, more uh, feminine, of course, fingers. Uh, it's a nice plain contrast between the two, and they look exceptional on display. I think actually, you know, when I had a look at this one right here, which still remains one of my personal favorite Joker collectibles, I had said that I would have loved Cryptozoic Entertainment to expand on this, not just simply stopping with Joker's hand, but maybe eventually giving us, say for example, Harley's hand. I'm certain I said that in that review, and ultimately this is what we've got. I think also if you go over to Cryptozoic's Entertainment, uh, Entertainment's website, which is www.cryptozoicentertainment.com or cryptozoic.com, you'll see also, I think pending, they've got planned a Batman's hand as well, which is going to have the uh, Batarang inside his grip. So again, I'm glad, I'm super thrilled that Cryptozoic is expanding out beyond the scope of what we got with Joker's hand, and they're going to give us other variations of hands from heroes and villains holding their corresponding calling cards, if you will. Much like Joker's calling card, Harley's puddin' pop hand is exquisitely sculpted. The way that they've sculpted it, you would swear that this was a female's hand inside of a glove. And I can assure you that no severing was required to get this hand sculpt as perfect as what it is. Uh, very nice on the way that they've also painted it as well. The areas in which, of course, would naturally be shaded are shaded here. And the light does a really great job of capturing it on the side. You can sort of see where the light would have hit it as the areas on the tops of the fingers are slightly more lighter than the darker shades down below here. Another touch I really like is that they've seamed or put a seam line on the side of the glove and really actually all of the individual fingers have that same seam. You get wrinkles where natural forming wrinkles would develop if you have a hand bent the way that it is. As you can see the way that the fingers are sort of leaning their way against the thumb, you have natural wrinkles forming right there. And they've done a fantastic job of capturing that in shading as well. The shading looks natural. If you spin like the glove around, for example, the flattest area of the hand, you can see that there are subtleties in shading. In fact, if I probably pointed it out to you, if not for that, you probably wouldn't even spot it, that there's shading here, shading along the sides here, and basically all around the sides of the seams. It's subtle, and what I do like about it is, if you look at it a certain way, you really can't sp specifically point out, okay, that's a dark area of shading, that's a lighter area of the paint. The transitioning is so clean that, again, it looks like a natural glove. It looks like, almost like a pleather glove the way that the natural light is hitting it. As we work our way down the glove, we are getting the f colored frilly sleeve that Harley Quinn would naturally have. I wanted at one point that the sleeve, I thought that the sleeve cuff could have been a little bit lower down, but then I think to myself, okay, well, in the actual Harley outfit, her black sleeve would have started past this point. It's a nice little contrast of colors where you now have got the red at the top, the white as the dividing cuff, and then you've got the darker black down below. If we look at the cuffed sleeve, you can see that there's some nice texturing that they've added to it. And much like the natural shading that they've added to the glove, they've also added natural darker shading in between the areas of the cuff. You can see as it gets closer to it, like right around here and like right at the back, it's almost this slightly lighter shade of gray that they've added in there, just very subtly airbrushed it in there, and it gives it again that natural look. As it is right now, Cryptozoic Entertainment has released the Joker calling card polyresin statue, which we've already looked at on this channel. Still love that as my all-time favorite Joker piece. And now we're having a look at the Cryptozoic Entertainment Harley Quinn Pudding Pop polyresin hand statue. But but if you swing on over to their website, www.cryptozoic.com, you'll also see there is a picture, a picture of the Cape Crusader. Yes, they're releasing a Batman hand statue that's going to have him holding his trademark Batarang. This is something that I wanted right from day one. The moment I set my eyes on this beautiful collectible, I had hoped that Cryptozoic would expand on that with future heroes and villains. Up to this point, we really only have he uh, villains. We don't have any real heroes until we eventually get ourselves Batman. Something else I'd love to see is future characters like, for example, a Catwoman. You could probably do a Catwoman in which she's just got her whip and it's kind of just draping down the side of her hand. Another idea that I might have thought of as well is a Clark Kent 
Now, Clark Kent would be a little bit more less interesting, if you will, because it would only have like a human hand of Superman. You could do this sleeve bottom portion of Superman, and he could be holding his glasses in his hand as if he's just taken them off. Again, it's a couple of ideas, but it's certainly something, a starting point. We've already got two fantastic looking statues, and I'm certainly interested to see what we're going to get in the future from Cryptozoic. Now, I mentioned that so far, Cryptozoic Entertainment has released the Joker Calling Card replica statue, and now they've released the Harley Quinn Pudding Pop polyresin hand statue. That's not 100% true. In fact, actually, the Harley Quinn Pudding Pop replica hand statue is slated for January 2019 release. I can thank the folks over at Cryptozoic Entertainment for providing this early sample that we had a look at in this video, but if you are interested in picking this one up for yourself, it's unfortunate you're not going to be able to pick it up for the holiday season. However, with the holiday season over and having some time to kind of recoup your savings, with her having a price point of $69.99 over on some online sites like Entertainment Earth, for example, uh, they've got a pre-order currently happening. So if you wanted to, if you wanted to pick this one up and add it to your Harley collection, you can swing on over to places like Entertainment Earth, for example, and pre-order her for $69.99. Again, I'm really excited for the future of where this lineup is going to go. There's a lot of potential possibilities. I listed a couple in this review, but I hope that they want to expand further beyond what we've seen so far. Harley Quinn is a beautiful representation of exactly what she looks like. Well, at least the hand of her looks like. It's lit and it's airbrushed in such a way that it looks like it's, if anything, a real hand that's inside a pleather glove. It shows something to the accuracy and the sculpt level that they've put into a piece like this. And while I loved the Joker, the calling card is still one of my favorite Joker pieces in my collection. I'm really looking forward to putting Harley Quinn right next to that and seeing what Cryptozoic has in store for us for 2019. Again, if you guys are interested in picking this one up for yourself, it's slated for January 2019 and places like Entertainment Earth currently have it on a pre-order, just FYI. Today we were having a look, thanks to the folks over at Cryptozoic Entertainment, this was the Cryptozoic Harley Quinn Pudding Pop Life Size Statue. You want to go back and have a look at some of the other Cryptozoic Entertainment pieces that I've covered on this channel? I don't blame you. There's a playlist just for you. And while you're at it, if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that little subscribe button down below. That will guarantee you that when new videos are coming to this channel, you'll never miss out. More videos will be coming your way, guys. So as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.